Tifu believing my mother's lies. Obligatory this didn't happen today. My mother lied to me for years. She fully convinced me that the technical name for daddy long legs were obligobs. So up until my teenage years I genuinely believed that's what they were called. And when one flew in the window and landed on my desk at school, I screamed out, no, get that obligeob away from me. Quote, after the class calmed down and I was finished ranting that it was the correct name for them. My teacher at that time explained to me that I was wrong and basically an idiot. It's a running joke in the family now that they are still called this and I found a partner who plays along. TL. D or TIFU by listening to my mother and believing daddy long legs were called obligobs and shouting it out to a class full of teenagers. The group's Latin name is Apiliones perhaps you misheard your mom? Hold on a sec. Daddy long legs don't fly. Are you sure it wasn't an obligio? Actually in Greece we do call them obligombos obligombos so probably that OS where they got it from. We have a family that lives next door to us and the father and son are both called Arturo. We refer to them as the Turos. When my son was in kindergarten, he was at a birthday party at a friend's house and one of the other guests lived next door. My son said, that's cool that you're friends with your Turos. There was a few moments of utter confusion and then I realized. He thinks, Turos means people who live next door to you. My dad always mispronounced words. He always pronounced hors d'oeuvre, hors divorce. My sister never caught on and pronounced it that way during her first meeting with her future in-laws. All of whom are quite arrogant and like to put others down. I guess they were pretty brutal. This is way more wholesome than I had anticipated based on the title. Daddy long legs is used for three different animals. A. Harvestman. Apiliones. Detritus eating. Fangless arachnids. No wings. No webs. B. Cellar spiders. Falsity. Fanged arachnids. Actual spiders. Webs. No wings. C. Crane flies. Tipulity. Insect. Flies. Generally doesn't eat during adulthood. Lots of regional nicknames. Skeeter eater. Mosquito hawk. Gallinipper. Scientist 1. We'll call it up long legs. Scientist 2. Hmm. Not kinky enough. My oldest nephew taught my very young niece the wrong sounds of animals. It took us two years to convince her otherwise. Is your name Bobby Busha? By the way op you're not crazy. Daddy long legs refers to either an arachnid group or crane flies depending on where you live. Is your mom related to Calvin's dad? How tf do you say it? LMAO. I can't even say that word with seriousness. Wait. Daddy long legs don't fly. How tf did it fly? Do you mean wind carried it to your desk? If you mean the spider-like guys. I call them harvestmen. Once when I was little. I was too afraid to go near the front door of my house because one was clinging to it. So I was basically trapped outside. Seeing a distressed young me. One of my old neighbors came over and asked me what the problem was. I told him about the harvestman. And he didn't seem to know what I was talking about so he went on his way. And I was trapped outside until my parents realized they had misplaced me. I told my daughter that the turkey's waddle was its testicles. At the time it was funny. She was little enough for it not to matter. Until I didn't correct it and she kindly informed me when she was in grade 4 that it was not in. Fact the turkey's testicles. My bad lol. We called cooked carrots caviar while growing up because it was only mom could get me to eat them. 
shut up and eat your caviar, little brother was never clued in and announced at a fancy banquet he didn't know what the big deal about caviar was everybody knows it's cooked carrots. Careful with the gabagool. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.